Ranked season one of X Defiant. It's got a lot of issues. Let's go ahead and talk about them. I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you leave a big fat like, and I would love to hear your comments down below on what you think needs to change to make Ranked successful for X Defiant. I will be posting this over on X and tagging the game devs in this video. So I hope that this gets out and I hope that they listen to some of what the community has to say as they already have been so far. But let's go ahead and jump over to number one. So for number one, we're gonna talk about the teammates ranks and the enemies ranks. So whenever I jump into a match, I expect if I'm level four bronze to be paired up with level three, level two, maybe some level five and six bronze, not level 10 or silvers. I, I should not be at level 10 bronze for the enemy team or even for my friendly team, okay? Now, with that being said, what, what are we going to do whenever a teammate backs out? This is number two. This is the second thing I want to talk about here. Number two, what if a teammate disbands? What are we going to do? Are we going to get another teammate? Are we going to, you know, close off us, you know, losing RP within the match? I mean, this has got to be fixed. I mean, that is an absolute problem, and not even to include if you die at the end of the match, as soon as the match is ending, you'll actually earn no RP, whether you win or lose. So it's almost like we might as well just die right before the match ends at this point with the bug that's in there. I mean, it's absolutely wild. And speaking of teammates, why are we got six phantoms on our team and with only four players? It's wild. Every time I turn around, we have a shield up. I mean, it's shield after shield after shield after shield. I get it. We want the extra health. We're using our abilities. I get it. I cannot wait until they fix to where only one person on a team can use a certain faction. And talking about factions, let's just talk about factions real quick, okay? Because this is something I'm kind of passionate about too. Why is GSK still locked for me in rank? We should have every faction that we want to use in rank, so then that way we can have an actual competitive play style instead of being walled up behind a paywall unless, you know, we play the game for 30-something hours after the new season drops. I mean, come on. I absolutely love X Defiant. It's been extremely fun, but we've got our issues. We've got to get them fixed, definitely with ranked. Definitely with ranked, and that brings me over to my next one, which is weapon unlocks. Why is every weapon not unlocked within the ranked mode? I, I have no idea, but I know that this has got to get fixed if we go any further. I mean, every single weapon attachment, everything, I mean, other than the skins, I don't care about the skins, but everything else needs to be fixed in ranked before you drop it. I get that you were trying to drop it because you were excited about it. But I mean, these are game breaking issues. I mean, these are probably turning other people to go back to COD to play ranked on COD or to play ranked somewhere else other than this game might even completely get them away from streaming this game in which it did me. I mean, I was playing ranked. I had set up a stream that, that basically said, we are gonna be playing ranked all day. And I was excited for it. I jump into ranked. Well, guess what? All of the bugs and issues that are going on, I mean, it was getting so bad that I could literally tell you if I was gonna lose or win. Like, as soon as the game started off, it was that bad. So, I mean, we've gotta fix these issues because I, I totally stopped streaming. I know some of the other people that aren't even streaming that are just playing for, for pleasure and enjoyment. I know that they probably got off and went and played another game as well because we were all so excited for ranked because we were told it was gonna be great. It's gonna be, you know, it's gonna be new. But let's go ahead and talk about broken weapons because I came across some of those as well. I mean, this is the ACR with the rapid fire barrel doing like 50 damage a hit. I saw a couple clips on that, you know, on X the other day. Um, I mean, we've got to get these issues fixed for ranked to be successful, for this game to be successful. I mean. People are only going to play so many of pubs before they get burned out of playing pubs. And I'm not saying that X Defiant has to beat Call of Duty or has to beat anybody else. X Defiant is its own game, and I think it's an, an amazing game for this 
freeness that it has, okay? But like I said, we've have to we gotta fix these issues. But anyway, let's talk about ranked points per match. Whenever someone cannot requeue into the game because you know our teammates can't requeue, we're left with nothing in the game. Why are we getting charged for RP? Why are we getting charged for this? I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. Why should we get charged for ranked points whenever we have a team member that was never there for the whole match? I mean, this is something that, I mean, like I said, is game breaking. I mean, I'm talking about just a few things here, and I really think that all of these are really game breaking. I mean, they really just make the game unbearable to play and it makes me want to go and jump on something else like call of duty or you know apex or something along the lines of that and i love the game that's that's the bad thing i've never had a wallpaper on you know my computer of any game because i never have enjoyed it that much to have a wallpaper on on you know everything that i have but i now have that but ranked it's like a no-go. I might as well just go back to public lobbies and just start ranking my weapon my weapons up again. I mean, it's that bad. I mean, I here are some things that I think that we can do to fix this brokenness of ranked. And I'm just gonna kind of go through a, just a few things here. And I would love to know what you think down in the comment section below. Cause like I said, I am gonna be posting this over on X and I'm gonna make sure that the game devs are tagged in it. Now whether they watch it or not, I don't know, but I'll at least post it for you guys. So, here are some things that I think that they could fix. Obviously, unlock all the weapons and attachments for everyone whenever you jump into ranked. Unlock all of the factions that there are whenever you jump into ranked. I mean, requeuing for team members. I, need, I think that they need to make that a thing to where if you accidentally disband, you can come back and join up. I think if someone disbands long enough, I think that you should have some RP, you know, um, Level levelness there maybe go ahead and forfeit the match and make sure that everyone doesn't lose rp or doesn't gain rp from that i also think that the rp needs to be more than just oh you lost the match or you won the match i think it needs to be how good did you play the objective within that match right you know if you if you killed the objective but your team members lost then i think that you should have a little bit less of a rp loss on that i mean i mean come on now I mean, you played your heart out. You shouldn't be punished for bad team members. I also think that it'd be really, really cool, and this is just me wishful thinking. I think that it'd be really cool if they came out with a solo, duo, trio, and quad mode, and you ran the ranks of each and, each and every one of those modes. So then that way, if you have a quad team team that are that is on there then you could just jump on with your quad team or you could jump into solo and you already know that you're just going to be 1v1 one and someone else or something along the lines of that i think that that would be really cool and definitely as you get into those higher ranks i think that you know the better that you do in a match the the higher rank you should be and i and maybe they wouldn't even have to do that if they put in where if you did you know if my team lost but i did so good that i still earned rp that could di differentiate you from all of your you know your friends or whatever if you did if you're a lot better player than your friends then that would differentiate your rank other than just win or loss i think that that'd be really cool and let me know let me know what you think let me know what you think but anyway i hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did make sure to leave a big fat like and if you do want to see more of this kind of content then obviously make sure you hit that subscribe button Go check out what I did with the brand new sniper less than 12 hours after it got dropped, okay? All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.